What's up guys, the Vital Syntax here, and this is going to be a very basic tutorial for you new PC gamers or PC gamers that have never really thought about monitoring frame rate. So uh, when you're playing on console, you don't really have to worry about your frame rate. When you're playing on a PC platform, you do have to worry about your frame rate, and you want to try and have it you know, at least 30, hopefully closer to 60, and if you're playing on a 120 hertz monitor, hopefully towards 120 frames per second. Now, some games have built-in frame rate monitoring um, console commands that you can enable, but if you want to be able to monitor your frame rate in every game that you play, then you can download a couple different tools that allow you to do that. So you can use programs like Fraps or DXTory, which are designed for recording uh, gameplay. So for example here, I'm going to open up DXTory, which is a software-based recording solution. And in this overlay setting tab, you'll see that it will show me my frame rate while I'm playing. There's uh, some other options of what color and stuff you have set to. But if you're not going to be recording gameplay, then you don't really need to go out and buy a program like DXTory or Fraps to just monitor your frame rate. So the program that I would recommend is called MSI Afterburner. So I'm just going to walk you through the whole steps on how you can get this. Just Google search MSI Afterburner. Quickly download MSI Afterburner right here. That'll start downloading the program. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I already have it downloaded. Run the installer and you will have this uh, new program installed on your computer. Go ahead and launch it. Now this program also allows you to do overclocking to your graphics card. And I would strongly recommend people overclock their graphics card um, if it's capable of being overclocked in the first place and it doesn't have any heat issues because it's basically a free performance that you're going to get uh, from your graphics card. Now I'm not going to go over that in this video. If you guys would like, I might be able to do an overclocking tutorial. But go ahead and click the uh, settings button down here at the bottom right. And you want to go to monitoring tab. Scroll down here and you can see frame rate. Go ahead and press the checkbox here and then check the show in on screen display option. Now, when you have this enabled and you have the frame rate enabled, go ahead and press OK. And that should launch a new program in your system tray called MSI, MSI On Screen Display Service. Go ahead and right click on that and go to Show. So, this is actually Rivatuner, which Rivatuner is kind of part of MSI Afterburner. You can see down here it says powered by MSI or powered by Rivatuner. And this is actually an on-screen display that allows you to monitor your frame rate. So you can set it to launch with Windows. You can say show on-screen display or turn it off. I would suggest setting the application det detection level to low and stealth mode, turn that on. Those are going to give you the best, um, I guess, chances of you know not having issues with other overlays like the um, Steam overlay or the Origin overlay. Um, and you know it's going to be a little bit more compatible. Now you can also change the size of your frame rate right here. You can change colors of your frame rate in here uh, and a couple other things. So just go ahead and minimize that when you're done and minimize MSI Afterburner when you're done. And next time you run a video game, it'll give you your frame rate and wherever you told to put it. Now, not only can you monitor your frame rate with this program, if we reopen MSI Afterburner and go back to the monitoring tab, there's a lot of other things that you can monitor in the display server. So I could monitor my temperature. I just need to go ahead and check this. Or I can monitor my GPU usage, my GPU voltage, uh, my fan speed, my core clock. I could enable all of those things. And the next time I launch a game, I can see all of that information in the game. That way I can make sure that my card's not overheating, that my card is being used to its full potential. I can see how much memory I'm using. That way if I'm, you know, I have a, a, an extra couple megabytes or 100 megabytes so of memory not being used. Maybe I can turn up the textures. Maybe I can turn up some of the other graphics settings to take full advantage of my graphics card. So anyway, that's just a quick tutorial on how to monitor your frame rate in PC games. There's a lot of other options, but for me, uh, MSI Afterburner has kind of been the one that I found works really well. It's free to use, and it's pretty awesome. So anyway, thanks for watch watching the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give me a like or a favorite, and I'll see you guys in the next one.